All right, so we are back, and I got to admit some kind of big news today because we all know that Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder just fought, and it was a massive trilogy, an amazing end to that trilogy, but those aren't the fighters, and that's not the Fury that I'm talking about today because we are talking about the younger Fury. That's right, the man with better looks, the one that'll stand up for his girl in the club by beating on his chest in front of everyone to mark his territory. Oh, that's that's right. That wasn't the Molly he was doing that night. That was uh, that was another one. It seems like we're getting closer to him fighting Jake the Problem Manchild Paul and a couple of weeks ago, this fight did not look like it was going to work out. Tommy was flat out denying million dollar offers, which didn't give the look he wanted it to when he said he didn't get out of bed for that kind of money. Because when he says it like that, no matter what his intentions are, it sounds like a guy that is living off the coattail of his brother and doesn't understand the value of a million dollars because he hasn't had to work for it. It just comes off a little bit like I wipe my ass with money that people would die to make. Anyway, like I said, we were not close to a fight. This was one that didn't look like it was going to work out. Tommy was not budging. Jake was trying to say, this is your final offer, dude. That's it. And then someone asked Tyson Fury what he thought about this Jake Paul and Tommy Fury fight. And of course, Jake being the opportunistic king of petty prop bets himself, he jumped on it as a response. A new bet from Jake Paul, Tommy Fury has accepted and the fight is unofficially on. The breakdown, let's go. Official response to Tyson Fury. He just said that if his little brother, Timmy Fury loses to me, that he will make him quit boxing and he's gonna have to change his last name. He will no longer allow to be a Fury. His name's Fury. If he can't beat Jake Paul, I'll have to change his name. How about that? Okay, so Tyson Fury was the initiator of this. And like we said, Tommy was turning down million dollar or million pound offer. So it wasn't like he was getting offered the chump change here, but Tyson Fury doubles down and says, yeah, we want that fight. And if Tommy can't beat Jake Paul, I will change his name. And it wasn't just that. There were some other things that were left out of this part of the interview that I read where Tyson also said, he might as well give up on being a world champion. Because again, if you can't beat a YouTuber, you got no aspirations of being a world champ. And while, again, that's more fight talk and Jake's better than just a quote-unquote YouTuber, he's kind of right. Like, Tommy Fury has kept saying he's going to be a world champ, but the in-ring skills have not shown that. So this is not like Tommy's above fighting Jake Paul. So Tyson coming out and putting the pressure on his own fucking brother. Not to mention that big John Fury, the dad of Tyson and Tommy, said he would smash Tommy to bits if he lost to this guy. The whole family is just putting heaps of pressure on Tommy when it looked like he didn't really want to take the fight. Now they're both just shoving him in there like, nah, you're taking this fucking fight. And if you happen to lose, it's no big deal. We're just gonna completely disown you. <laughs> it's not like Tommy can just turn this thing down now because not only is Jake calling him out, the internet's calling him out, his own family's saying, you better get your ass in there and fight. He has to take this fight now. Tommy, if you beat me, I will give you an extra $500,000. However, if you lose, you have to change your last name for one year to Tommy Fumbles. Now, a couple days ago, before I did this video, I tried not to watch it because I wanted to do the video for you guys, but I did see this come out of it, Tommy Fumbles. And I have to admit, while Jake's bets are not the most creative usually, I don't know who was in his ear for this one. This is fucking good. This is good, man. Tommy Fumbles, come on. You fumble the bag if you don't take the fight. If you lose the fight, you fumbled the Fury name and you can't go by it anymore. It's a good fucking line. And this is why you have to counter Jake's bet with the bet. You have to, always. Because now, if you accept this, and Tommy, I am heard, has accepted it, you've basically sealed your fate against, again, the casino. Because now he's just offering money that's disposable to him. You know how I was joking about Tommy wiping his ass with a million? Jake Paul actually wipes his ass with $500,000. Dude is a multi, multi-millionaire. That money means shit. And again, as much as I have my own opinions about Jake, and you guys know I'm not a big fan of his, when he does stuff like this, when he does these little prop bets, he does it with great detail. It's part of the reason he is where he is. He's detailed and he follows up. If you guys actually read the story that was like a, a screenshot of the contract that Jake put out on his Instagram, you can look toward the bottom couple lines and it actually says, within 24 hours of the bout, all his social media accounts to reflect the name Tommy Fumbles and immediately after the bout, utilize the name Tommy Fumbles in all forms of media, including without limitation, all post-fight interviews and press conferences. And this is why I say Tommy should not be accepting bets. He should be counter betting. But Tommy has decided he is going to accept this offer. So let's see what he said. Do we have a deal? 
Get that sent over to my lawyers ASAP right now and we'll get that looked at and sorted. You know, him saying get that over, we'll get it looked at and sorted means there's not a fucking chance in hell I'm letting you keep that clause at the bottom in where people got to call me Tommy Fumbles immediately after the fight's over. That's what that means. Because there's not a chance in hell you're winning this fight. You're leaving on a stretcher, you're getting knocked spark out as well, you know it. Get it over to me now. All right, so listen, I think in Tommy's mind, because he sounds confident right there, right? That's the first time we've heard Tommy, you know, confident be like, yes, I'll accept this offer, let's go. Because he's been saying, let's fight, let's fight, but then the offer came and he was like, eh, I don't wake up for that kind of money. Again, in his mind, this $500,000 is the pay increase he wanted. Now, in reality, I think this fight is not as cut and dry as we think. I don't think he's just going to walk through Jake. I think, again, the skill levels are close and the opportunity to make the money he's going to make is not something Tommy's going to regret, right? The million dollars with the 500 or without it, it's life-changing money, but he could have already made that without the Tommy fumbles thing. So now... The pressure is, again, shifted from Jake because this would have been the first time he's fighting a real boxer. Can he actually go in and beat the real boxer? The pressure was there, and now Tommy, in his stupidity, has accepted all of that pressure by allowing Tyson to basically say, we're going to strip you of your name and disown you. Big John Fury say, I'll smash him to bits. You're not a Fury if you don't go beat Jake. He's a YouTuber. And now even you accepting this bet where you have to actually change your last name for another $500,000. The pressure that he was going to feel in a fight with Jake Paul was going to be massive anyway, because look at what happened when he had to travel his debut in the United States. And to be honest, people weren't there to see Tommy. He was on the undercard, so the crowd wasn't even that alive. But in that arena, things didn't look the way you would think Tommy Fury should look on that stage with that name and that much experience he's gonna have to come back to america and he's gonna have to fight in the main event of a sold out arena wherever jake wants it to be and that's gonna be tough in its own right let alone the pressure he just added to himself all i'm saying is jake has the draw value absolutely jake's more talented than a, just a quote-unquote youtuber and tommy fury and jake have i would say similar skill levels as far as who they fought and the skill levels they bring into the ring and this is why i say you don't take bets from Jake. You make counter bets to Jake. It's as simple as that. And Tommy could have done this from the million dollar offer to start. He could have made the bet. Jake, yeah, I'll take your million. But if you lose, you got to shave what's left of that Charlie Brown haircut so we can see what that real hairline looked like or something like that. Tommy had the opportunity again to do this, but these guys continue to play right into Jake's hands. I don't know. It just looks like he set himself up for a massive pressure field situation that it didn't have to be. And it could have been Tommy still making a mill. And listen, this story continues to update because I was just on Twitter and saw that Frank Warren has confirmed that we are looking at a November or December fight date possibly for these two. So this, it looks like this deal is going to get done and it'll be interesting to see if the Tommy fumbles bet stays in that contract so you guys better buckle in this thing could speed up really really quick and of course i'm gonna bring you guys all the content around it so as we leave off tommy has sealed his fate and he's now fully in the world of jake paul can he get the victory bring the 500k home and keep the fury name or will tommy lose this fight to jake have to change his name legally to the thing that he did to lose the fight to jake in other words come november or december possibly Will Tommy fumble? Guess we'll find out.